So, hello and welcome to the first qualifying lobby of the 24 hours of Nürburgring. The Group 3 race from Digital Endurance Series. I'm Confuser 3 and I have DLL Charles with me in the co-commentator box. Hello, Charles. Welcome, Phil. Good evening. Yeah, thank you for the warm introduction. Quali for uh, one of the biggest races uh, that we offer 24 hours at the Nürburgring. Very challenging track, um, and I'm looking very forward uh, to this one. Yeah, I can only say the same. I'm looking forward to it as well. Um, I don't know about the, the two guys that are missing. We are missing uh, TSR Sakura, and we are missing someone from uh, the FW, FVE sports team. Um, okay, they asked where the lobby is because uh, I have seen the message from Gruck that he wants to race, but <clears throat> yeah, we cannot wait forever. We have a strict timing plan, and because we have three laps here that take about 24 minutes. Every qualifying session takes about half an hour. So we are pretty tight on the planning. They can always yes. join the next lobby if they aren't uh, ready. Yeah, there should be some room available. It can be uh, a problem. Yeah, and, and start is about uh, in about two minutes. Uh, as you said, three laps. Uh, so. Not yeah. too much, too much chances to, to set a good lap here. Uh, you have to bring it on point uh, over the line. About 25 kilometers with, I think, uh, 180 corners. Uh, not, not an easy task. Yeah, the Nürburgring Nordschleife plus the GP variant, one of the, if not the hardest track in the world. Very difficult to get a lap together. And uh, there is honestly no perfect lap here. You always have room for improvement and I have never seen someone doing a, a lap where every sector was green and there are 16 sectors, so yeah, pretty uh, difficult. Um, once you, you do a race, uh, like our three, three hours then, and you have to you set your personal best and you look at the optimal time that can be a second or two or three seconds quicker because it's such a long track it's so difficult to be optimal everywhere it's so easy to do tiny mistakes here and there um, so to drive really on the limit for eight minutes is, is a thing i think that uh, it's just humanly not not uh, possible for our level maybe for for the very extreme uh, perfect uh, gt drivers um, but yeah, being uh, one or two seconds within this limit is, I think, a very good achievement already. Yes, I can agree. Um, I just see that the ES logo is a bit misplaced. I placed it somewhere else. All right, I think this fits. Yeah. Uh, in a few minutes, we will start the uh, qualifying we have as uh, mentioned we have a three lap stint the first lap is uh, the warm-up lap the formation lap then the second one and the third one are flying laps so you only have two chances to uh, to have a good qualifying time and of course because a lap takes about eight minutes we will only have a lap after 16 minutes yeah, quite, quite some time. Uh, as we mentioned as well, uh, damage is unheavy, so you really, really want to avoid that at all costs, because having damage practically means uh, you have no, no good shot of setting a lap time. Uh, if you have that on your in-lap, you can uh, pit and set one flying lap, but uh, having, having that in-lap two, uh, it doesn't make sense to pit for lap three, so you have to live with that. So, yeah, caution is uh, advised. 
Uh, we might have gotten a friend request from uh, the F the FVE guys. I need to check this if we have uh, one. I don't see any. Oh, I need to charge the controller now. Otherwise, I wouldn't survive it. It wouldn't survive. Uh. So we already have 1851, so we should start uh, quite soon. Bound Charles. Okay. Um, I will tell Dennis to start soon because we are already behind the schedule. Yeah, I told him uh, by Discord as well. Yeah, just wrote that he is going to start. Okay. Okay, one minute. Um, if we look at the field here, we have two Mercedes AMGs. We have um, <clears throat> two Porsche 911s. We have a Corvette. We have a Lexus. We have a Audi R8. And we even have a Toyota Supra GT500. And the GR Supra racing concept. That's a pretty interesting field Nuschel starting on uh, on first position but again this is a uh, absolutely nothing to do with uh, with the starting position I think it started about uh, from the driver rating but yeah possible not yeah, really, no. uh, yeah now <laughs> Greg has joined and he's too late yeah, that's important. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, as Conti said, uh, lap one is nothing more than a formation lap. Um, get yourself sorted, um, have a nice field around you, no one too close, uh, and just bring the car home in, in one piece. Yeah, and uh, for this we can just talk a bit and yeah, talk about some news because we had a, a pretty prominent addition to the league or to the DLL team and it's none other than Mikhail Hizal who has won the GT World Championships uh, in the second series. Yeah, Mikhail uh, joined the server. Uh, I think there was some connection with uh, brother from, from us and uh, he invited them over and uh, he took a look uh, and wanted to drive, didn't come together unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, too sure if, if he's looking in other uh, races we have this year or take more uh, casual. Um, yeah, there's no casual obviously. Uh, yeah, but great to see that uh, quote, yeah, uh, quote, uh, 
big big names are interested in the league and uh, yeah it shows that we we're doing uh, good work and uh, that gets recognized that's nice to see yeah that's uh nice to see that such uh such fast people are joining the lobby oh what has happened to mark x has uh, for some reason has been stationary and has teleported back to where he was before okay no for me uh, he's fine uh second guy no uh, no damage or whatsoever looking all good Maybe a small, small bug on, on your side, but everything looks fine for me. Yeah, strange. Maybe there was some hiccup here. Which uh, shouldn't be, because I'm on the... I'm on cable. <laughs> and on uh, glass fiber, so this really shouldn't happen. Field is uh, still pretty close together. I think, yeah, that will stretch out a bit uh, once they are on the dotting and rear at the end of the lap. I think, uh, yeah, slip. It's, it's a very fast track, but uh, you wouldn't go for slipstream. You want a clean lap uh, ahead of you the best uh, visibility that's also very important so no uh, monster tactics you want to get a clean lap here yeah you don't want uh, someone to stay in the way and especially on such a long track no matter how you are um, calculating calculating it it can happen and uh, an incident a crash can happen so fast this uh, circuit is relentless. Yeah, yeah, especially uh, the North Flight path is uh, very narrow. Um, it has some areas where, where it's a flat out section uh, for a bit, and you can go side by side if the other person plays along, but mostly it is way too narrow to, to overtake and it will only cost time. So. You're looking to get uh, yourself a nice uh, buffer area behind and in front of you that no one is going to disturb your laps. Yeah. Now uh, Nuschel is entering the Bergwerk quite soon. Not now, but uh, the next corner will be the Bergwerk. I, I, I like this corner. Um, you break uh, from 5th or 6th gear depending on the car going down the third or even second gear, a lot of rotation, uh, the car gets, gets a bit light and then you have the long flat out section here, uh, very important that corner to get right because this leads on this uh, long straight, you can uh, gain or lose quite a bit here. Yeah, correctly. Now we're coming to the end of the fast, uh, of the full throttle section, we're coming to uh, close the tile. Then this corner also goes flat out, and then we are entering the carousel section. Or also named the Caracciola carousel. A very interesting corner with uh, two different uh, kind of asphalts and with quite some banking, but only at the uh, uh, tar only in the middle tarmac. Yeah. Um don't want to be uh, a nerd too much, but it's one part of uh, of tarmac because the bank part is uh, I don't, I'm not sure concrete. That's the word. Uh, okay. It's concrete, uh, so it's not really grippy, but uh, because of the huge banking, it, it gives overall higher uh, speeds than the outside line, which is ridiculously uh, slow in comparison. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a, a tiny carousel. Uh, before it goes on the, on the long back straight, which is also uh, made of, of concrete. Now uh, let's look at Taser X, because uh, he will now be entering the very tricky and technical part of the Nürburgring. 
beginning with the uh, with the Hue 8. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the, the best parts of the whole track. Uh, you, you're reaching uh, one of the highest parts of the whole circuit. I think the highest part on the north flight, uh, and then one corner after the next comes. But it's all very fluent. Uh, quick corners, uh, slows is in third gear, mostly fourth or fifth gears, and it, it's just very uh, fluent. It flows nice together. Now we are uh, at Brünchen. It's really downhill. Uh, the game doesn't do that really justice. It's crazy. Uh, then uphill, that's the YouTube corner. Uh, which is really slippery and uh, yeah, grand uh, finale to the lap. Uh, I think from the feeling uh, when you've done this part, you think, okay, I've, I've almost got, got it. It's now only the trade and I, I survived the lap. Now to the plant garden con, then comes the Stefan Bellow S. Also very tricky to drive with the GT3 car. Uh, you can go full throttle, but you have to be very careful. Schwanz. And then the next few corners or is Schwanz coming later because uh, the map here seems to be a bit um, not no, no, really the correct. best. Okay. And, uh, and this corner is Galgenkopf, uh, the corner leading on to the back straight. Yeah. And I think uh, pretty much exactly uh, two kilometers is this straight. Yeah. Now and, to the uh, Dottinger Höhe. Yeah, that's that's the chance to, to rest a bit in the race and most importantly to get your overtakes done. But now let's look at Nuschel. He is uh, beginning to lap now. It's the first of uh, two flying laps. And after that, oh, Dennis goes into the pits. He has damage on his car. That yeah, uh, compromises, yeah, we... sorry. Then we mentioned it, it ruins the second uh, lap and he only has one flying lap. So a lot of pressure for him now. Yeah, definitely. Now Nuschel is coming to the down Dunlop hairpin. Tricky corner to drive, there are multiple lines you can take. Then to the Michael Schumacher S. We have already driven uh, the circuit in the second WC race, but only the GP circuit, not the full N24. Yeah, that would be met with the uh, hypercar. Track layout uh, is mostly the same. Uh, we don't drive the uh, AMG Arena, the first two corners of the uh, the track, and the uh, the chicane that's coming up is now the very fast. Uh, chicane, uh, not a tight one that goes light right there and it's much more uh, quick, not an overtaking opportunity really anymore, but it fl flows nicely uh, like an S and then you go up the hill T13 uh, uh, on the north flight and to Sabine Schmidt's corner. Yeah, cool is already a half second penalty, then we're looking at zero place, wonderful library here. And F1 Dennis has uh, also entered the co entered the circuit again, but is now between Serial Blaze and Taser Rex, and uh, he's slowing down so he can uh, let Taser Rex through because Taser is on a fast lap, Dennis isn't. Yeah, well done by Dennis. Letting him through on the GP track is the best scenario for both. Mm. Uh, yeah, North Fly extremely narrow the track. That's always difficult without uh, standing in the way. So. Uh, Fair play to him here. Oh, Nuttall in danger. He was on two plots, very quick corner, and uh, it was almost with two, uh, two uh, tires onto the grass. Just caught it. Lost a bit of momentum here, but luckily uh, saved the car. Yeah, now the next few cons could also be difficult because of the lost grip. 246.7 seems to be a good lap at the moment. I think Mag X is a bit slower. Not much though. Then we have Paul Duprenter. Seems to be on a very good lap though. Uh, Kick Mac as well. I like the Pegasus library. It looks 
quite cool with the clock here on the side of the car. Yeah, I thought that too. Really creative. Well done. The aerial play seems to be a bit slow, maybe lost uh, three or four seconds already. But maybe this is just a safe lap and he will go for a more aggressive one in the next lap. The first one should be uh, the security lap, it should be uh, the lap where you uh, will just bank a time and in the next one you can be a bit more aggressive. Yeah. I totally agree with that, especially in the last part of the uh, track where one corner closes into the next one. If someone does a mistake there, it's, it's likely that they stand on, on the track or on the racing line. You, there's little you can do to avoid that, so it's, uh, it's a good idea to just have a safe lap uh, that you can improve by 3-4 seconds, but you have that safe lap if, if something goes wrong. One question though, um, mm -hmm. with the Toyota FT1 you are driving, how can you drive the Versiphon? The, the chicane? Um, it, it's a bit tricky corner, um, I think in, in every car. Um, and it's, it's really brake depend how you set up the, uh, the brakes. Um, with, with neutral braking settings the car wants to step out, uh, so you have to be a bit more careful not to lose the rear. When you put the brake to the forward, it's a bit more easier. You can be a bit more aggressive. Um, and uh, yeah, just watch out that the, the rear doesn't step out because the car wants to do that, uh, actually. Uh, I actually meant uh, the chicane after, uh, after Kallenhardt. Uh, Maybe I was... Uh, that uh, VS Eiffel is a very slow, uh, almost first gear, definitely second gear uh, corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe the track map isn't the best. I don't know. Anyway, um, at least with the Supra, the chicane is very difficult to drive because the car uh, hits, the, hits the asphalt, hits the ground, and uh, if you are going through the corner in the wrong way, then the car loses every bit of grip and just steers into the wall so you have to be very careful in this corner but there are also a few other uh, corners that need to be driven very carefully especially both uh, carousel corners and also through both jumps yeah um, not not a few, but maybe even a handful points are really unique on this track or uh, areas where you uh, lose uh, contact with tractors, you jump for a moment and uh, curves are uh, really challenging. Normally uh, you can always attack curves, you're fine, uh, that's modern uh, design by now, but here the curves are really high and you have to know uh, uh, what tracks, uh, what curves can you attack, um, and where you need uh, some margin not to touch them because it uh, will unsafe the car. You have to really know the track by heart. Yeah, definitely. So if we if we look at the field, we have uh, Taser Rex and Dennis really close together. Uh, Dennis shouldn't be this close. Uh, I don't think this does a uh, Taser Rex any. Uh, any favor at all, and also not to Dennis. I think Dennis uh, wants to go for the overtake on the back straight, to have a clean lap ahead. And um, could you please go to uh, Magic in second position? He has damage and uh, is now in a dilemma. Uh, he has a slow lap now, the next lap will be slow as well, but it doesn't make any sense to pick because then this third lap uh, will be even slower. Yeah, then that then he will have no time, except maybe the first lap that doesn't count though. So uh, he needs to finish this lap now, and for the second one, yeah, probably needs to set it out. Nuschel comes off the line with a 8.036. It's that already uh, very competitive, strong lap, that's for sure. 
Yeah, that was a strong one. Uh, yeah, Mark X uh, finishes the lap with the 8.12. Paul, Paul also with very, Paul, yes, with, very good. Paul with a very strong lap, 8.053. Then we have 8.096 from uh, Kick Mac. Kildrafe, 8.066. Whoa, these times are... Sorry, crew with a, a slower lap time, he had the penalty. That would cost him about, I guess, two seconds because it's such a long back straight. 8.13.5 for him, serial place with a 8.15.8. Then Taser. Yeah, Dennis has uh, now dropped back a bit. Taser, 8.13.7. And yeah, now we have Dennis, who only has this one lap to make it count. Now yeah, it's more that's than 20 seconds uh, to taser, that should be uh, sufficient. Yeah, but the pressure is on now. Uh, only one uh, lap to get it right. No mistakes allowed. Yeah. And for the rest, uh, it, it's about to bring it home. Uh, obviously, uh, you want to push a bit more uh, to improve your lap time, but you don't want to, to bin it, obviously. Yeah. And uh, Paul is uh, catching uh, Magic in second position with the damage. Um, technically, if they're both on a hot lap, Magic wouldn't need to let him go. But yeah, with but the damage, I would appreciate it. Yeah, he lets him go. That's a very fair thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm already entering the times everybody did, and got to say, I'm really impressed with Paul. Really impressed with his lap time. That was very strong. Then also, kick neck. Uh, do you need uh, to dictate? Uh you need me to dictate the times? That's easier for you. Um, yeah, it would be... Okay, would yeah. Be cool. uh, kick Mac. 8 minutes, 9 seconds. Point six three five. Yeah, for some uh, reason it won't enter the, the time correctly. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe it's just a, an error on the... Okay, yeah, maybe now I can enter it. Okay, uh, then we have a killer hockey. It's an 8.06. Wait, um, killer of... Uh, yes, 8.06. Oh, 06. Point six to 8. Okay. Is entered. Yeah, uh, zero Kohaku. Yes. Eight thirteen. Yeah. Point five nine five. Yes. Next one is Blaze. Yes. Eight minute fifteen point eight one eight. Yes. And Taser. Um, wait a second, where is he? Ah, oh, there. Yeah. With an 8 minute 13.778. I think Dennis uh, lap will improve, so uh, we can wait for that. Uh, can you say it again? Taser's lap? Yeah. Yes, uh, 8 minute 13.778. Yeah. All right. Uh, should now enter all times. Okay. Yeah, uh, Nuspolo is already halfway through the final lap. Uh, he's half a second up, so uh, maybe we we'll see an eight minute and two um, at the end of this lap. Is he on an improvement? Paul most likely is not going to improve. He has half a second time penalty. He's one second up, though. One second uh, up the the best time, though. Yes. Nushal is half the, a second. Yeah, Nushal is half a second up.
Wow, Paul is really strong on this track. Because I'm really impressed here. Yeah, Mark X won't improve. Uh, Kellerraffe, we need to see. Uh, Mark X makes room. Very fair from him. Kick Mac now on the concrete in the Caracciola Crossell. Let's look at the next um, sector time. He should be on an improvement. Yeah, one second up his personal best, so this could be a 808 or even an 807. Yeah, I'm following Nuttel. He is still purple, but lost a bit. Uh, two times up. Ball 1.3, purple. There could still be an improvement. Ui, Nuttel goes wide. Somehow was able to save the car, maybe it was just lag, but uh, yeah, he isn't on the personal best. Uh, he's still on the personal best, but uh, lap time or the... Yeah, he's not really up that much, so... I don't think he will improve that much. Yeah, will be very slim, but also shows two uh, strong laps from him. Yeah, I saw just... Uh... The marks on on the uh, the green by the side uh, that must must be really a moment to go brown for him. Interesting to see is now which uh, lap time Paul is doing because he's been very fast in this lap, but he has a penalty. So uh, a personal best will not be possible, maybe. But he's still 1.6 seconds up. I think what? he can do it. Yeah, shame because of the penalty. Uh, Nuschel is three Nuschel tenths up now. Three tenths. Impressive. Well, just one braking is on left. Looking good. And he goes over the line with the eight minutes o three two five zero. It's quite an improvement, but now let's see what Paul can do. He's still on a personal best, at least. Yeah, yes, that Paul penalty cost him. But still very impressive. 8.04.22. That's yeah. really strong. Kick Mac, also with an improvement. Killerhafe, also with an improvement. 8.04. Mark X can't improve, then we have Q. Yeah, slight improvement. Blaze and Taser following each other very closely, so no improvement for Blaze, but Taser with a slight improvement, more than a second, one and a yeah. half second for Taser, and now Dennis. And then it seems to be on a good lap. That's very competitive. Can this be pole position? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Wow. Great job by Dennis, under pressure, delivering that lap. Well done. Yeah, that was strong. Now let's see at the result. Um, two, one, one, seven. Oh, for fuck's sake. I always need to copy everything. Um, Okay, can you give me through Paul? One moment. Paul, 
Yeah. Point two two two. Good. Okay. Then um, kick Mac. Eight oh eight point six one zero. Yes. Uh, killer Affe. Eight oh four. Yeah. Three seven nine behind Paul. Mm hmm. Magic. Um, yeah, Magix uh, doesn't need to be corrected. Coup, I think. With an 8 minute 13.462. 462. Uh, Blaze is still uh, 818. No, Blaze has an 8 minute 15. Yeah, that's what I uh, said. Okay. I uh, 81. Yeah, no, I see. Sorry. Uh, Taser, 812. Yeah, that's eight, still. Six. And then we have Dennis with an 802. Yeah. Point one one seven. Yeah, I think all times should be entered now. I'm going to save the replay. So, and then I need to switch quite soon to the next lobby. Yeah, then now I think we hear each other for the first uh, stint decider again. I'm going to open yes. up the uh, second lobby now. See you then, Conti. Yeah, will you open the stream or should I just continue? Uh, you can continue if you want to. All right. Okay. See you then. Yeah, see you then. Bye. Then we are going to... Yeah, sorry that I couldn't uh, answer that much in the chat or that uh, Charles couldn't do that as much as well because it's just uh, a lot to do. Oh, I can see uh, Ciao a tutti. I can see uh, a comment of Masma. Very cool. So in the next lobby, we have Mugen NSX for the second RRC team. We have Poctavian for the DLL1 team. We have EA Gamer for WSR2. We have SL Eddie for GTF. We have Rotec for DLL. We have Force Rules for GTF. We have Flipsy for DLL. We have Chaos Phil uh, for Don. We have Pex DJ, I think this is Arix. And we have F1 Greg for FVE. So let's uh, see where. Our dear Jailbird is, because he wanted to co-commentate with me. Now let's look at the lobby settings. Yeah, it looks well for the moment. Then we have... That's there. Yes, all good. Looks good. These settings look good. Um, sorry if I'm a bit lost here. I have had a working day today, so I'm still a bit uh, groggy because of this. Okay, we wait for FGR. They uh, ah, already in the lobby now. Needs to join though. And I'm in it too. So yeah, the second lobby, much, much uh, more people in here. Might be even a more interesting uh, qualifying.
So, uh, start at the latest would be uh, 28 or 29. Yeah, 12 drivers in the lobby. Very cool. Okay, I'm uh, ho I'm now uh, pushing, pulling Jailbird with me. Jailbird. Hallo, Confi. Hi, Guido. Ja, wie geht's dir? Jo, ganz okay. Selber auch? Ja, mir geht's auch gut. Danke. Danke für die Einladung. Jo, kein Problem. Äh, dann würde ich sagen, den zweiten Teil hosten wir auf äh, soweit es geht. Auf Deutsch. Äh, ich werde versuchen, da ab und zu ein bisschen Englisch einzubringen, aber auch für unsere deutschen Zuschauer halt auch mal ein bisschen, äh, ähm, ja, ja. damit wir einfach da was haben. Äh, wer hostet überhaupt? Das du. Okay, äh, dann starte mal um 29. 29, okay. Schreibt das mal hin. Ah, oh, Charles ist jetzt auch in der Lobby, ist auch im Chat, hi. Ähm, <lacht> so, ich versuche mich mal ein bisschen an den Kommentaren zu orientieren, ich habe da nicht viel äh, gesehen, leider. Ähm, ähm, 803 is a very good time, ja. Yeah. Yes, it was a good time, but apparently 8.02 is even faster. Um, Paul is, was really great. Did a really good lap. Didn't expect that from him, but that was uh, very good. And uh, yeah, the rest is more or less hey. And... Yeah, now let's see. We are 12. We, again, we are... 12 uh, guys in the lobby now. Sind 12 Leute. So, eigentlich könnten wir. Moment, Sportmat ist jetzt auch drin. Wir ich habe gerade noch eine. Ich habe gerade eben noch eine Freundschaftsanfrage angenommen. Ich weiß nicht, ob der jetzt noch. War es der Sportmat? Nee, den hatte ich schon vorher. Also, wenn, dann müsste er jetzt hier gleich drin platzen. Also, 1930 fahren wir los. Von mir aus, okay. 1930. Okay. Ich gucke jetzt noch, ob hier noch was passiert. Das heißt, wir haben jetzt 21 von äh, 23 Fahrern, die da qualifiziert sind. Okay, ich drücke drauf, ja? Jo. Ja, also die Zeit von Nuschel war sehr gut, muss ich sagen. Hätte ich nicht erwartet in diesem alten Fahrzeug. <lacht> ja gut, die von Dennis war dann noch schneller. War das eine sehr starke Zeit. Gut, auch hier haben wir eine starke Lobby. Wir haben äh, Roadtech auf der ersten Position. Dann haben wir äh, Mugen NS600 in der zweiten Position mit dem äh, Subaru BRZ. Dann äh, Chaos Phil im BMW M6, Pax DJ im äh, Nissan GTR, dann haben wir EA Gamer im Lamborghini Huracan, sehr interessante Autowahl, Enzo Ferrari im McLaren 650S, dann haben wir noch den zweiten M6 von SIL Eddy, den zweiten Nissan GTR von Force Rules, dann noch den zweiten Subaru äh, BRZ GT300 von Octavian, Flipsy P12 mit dem Toyota FT1 und dann haben wir noch Crack mit ähm, Toyota Supra und Sportmat mit dem Lexus RCF. Ja, 
Ja, was für eine Zeit könntest du persönlich hier auf der Strecke fahren? Äh, ich persönlich, also wir hatten trainiert und ähm, seitdem ich, seitdem ich äh, die Playstation 5 habe, sind viele Strecken, die ich zum ersten Mal betrete. Und der Nürburgring war einer davon. Und also ich habe mich sehr schwer getan. Wir sind fünf Runden gefahren. Und am Ende, also ich bin in der dritten Runde rein, habe mir frische Reifen geholt und Sprit brauchte ich, glaube ich, nur noch ein bisschen für fünf Runden und war dann bei einer 8.15. Wenn ich mich hingesetzt hätte, hätte ich vielleicht eine 10, aber das ist schon wieder unterirdisch. 8 Minuten 3 oder 8 Minuten 2. Ja, das aber ist unvorstellbar für mich. 8 Minuten 10 ist auch eine gute Zeit, finde ich. Da muss man sich jetzt ja, nicht äh, beschweren. Das habe ich auch zu Thorsten gesagt, dass man sich da überhaupt decken muss. Das ist absolut ausgezeichnet. Alles, was da drunter ist, ist durchaus annehmbar. Sonst sind wir ja immer ein bisschen weiter hinten zu verorten, aber jetzt könnte es vielleicht. Oh, äh, weia, weia. Pax und, äh, und Enzo sind da gerade am Fighten. Das wäre nicht nötig hier. Das ist nur die Formationsrunde, da braucht man sich nicht äh, so zu stressen. Aber man muss auch sagen, da viele haben eine sehr schlechte Verbindung. Sind da massiv am Lecken. Plexus hat geschrieben, du seist ein Ehrenbird. Nein, ein Ehrenbird? Ja. Ein Ehrenvogel. Das freut mich. Ah, ich weiß nicht genau, wer die Namen, wer genau hier, du kennst bestimmt äh, sämtliche Namen und zweiten Namen. Aber nee, auf der Einführungsrunde sollte man sowas nicht machen. Ich hier sehe. Nee, es ist wirklich nicht nötig hier, dass man da noch... Äh so nee. rumstresst. Da kann man auch äh, sich schön die Ruhe lassen, die Reifen auf Temperatur bringen und sich dann äh, für die erste Runde bereit machen. Wir sehen da aber auch schon relativ große Gaps. Äh, Poctavin hat da sehr viel Platz gelassen. Flipsy ist da im Schlepptau auch gleich noch dazu. Und dann haben wir noch äh, Crack, der hat einen Schaden geholt, aber nur hinten rechts bei der Aufhängung. Das dürfte eigentlich fast nichts kosten. Ah, ich weiß jetzt nicht, wie sich eine Hinterradaufhängung der Schaden da hinten auswirkt. Ich hab meistens vorne und den steuert Ja, siehst du, da hast du das. <lacht> äh, ja, aber da war Greg, glaube ich, eher unkonzentriert als etwas anderes. Also, ich hab meistens vorne und dann, das merkst du denn. Da kannst du nicht mehr gut fahren. Du bist mit dem Controller unterwegs, ne? Ja. Ja gut, das merkt man dann äh, eher. Wenn man mit dem Lenkrad fährt, dann ist es nicht so tragisch. Na, ich konnte meinen inneren Schweinehund noch nicht so überwinden. Obwohl ich vielleicht Platz hätte. Und vielleicht auch das nötige Kleingeld. Aber ich konnte mich noch nicht überwinden. Ich spiele ja. gerne, aber jetzt nicht so viel, dass ich einen Lenk hat. Also ich fahre einmal in der Woche jetzt momentan. Ja, mein Bruder schreibt gerade Jailbird a Legend. Ist es, ist es dein Bruder, den wir manchmal in der Lobby sehen, der andere Masafra? Äh, der andere Masafra wäre dann mein Vater, das wäre äh, ah, okay, äh, Masma. Ja. Der andere, also der Bruder, der würde dann als Teenek herumfahren. Ah, okay. <lacht> Schwierig. Aber alle schon mal gelebt. Jo. So, so weit, so gut. Ähm, wir schauen jetzt mal bei EA Gamer zu. Wie gesagt, der fährt einen Lamborghini Huracan. Finde ich gerade für die Renndistanz eine sehr, ähm, sagen wir mal, mutige Wahl, weil der Lamborghini nicht gerade gut mit den Reifen umgeht und auch äh, sehr schwer zu bändigen ist vom Reifenverschleiß. Ich finde das Auto cool zu fahren. Äh, es ist deutlich angenehmer und deutlich besser zu fahren als noch in GT Sport. Da war es eine absolute Zicke. Jetzt äh, hier in dem Game fühlt sich das Auto eigentlich gut an, aber äh, durch das BOP ist äh, das Auto so schwer. Ich weiß nichts, wiegt glaube ich 1380 Kilo unter dem BOP. 
da gehen die Reifen einfach kaputt. Schneller als man äh, 1, 2, 3 sagen kann. Also ich muss ehrlich gestehen, dass ich dieses Auto, ich glaub, also ich glaube im alten Spiel habe ich es nicht gefahren und jetzt hier eigentlich auch nicht. Es gibt Autos und die machen einen Riesenbogen und die würden noch nicht mal eine engere Auswahl kommen oder so. Jo. Und der, er ist einer davon, vorher und jetzt auch. Ja, wenn es keinen Reifenverschleiß gäbe, wäre der Lamborghini für mich tatsächlich eine Wahl, die ich äh, nehmen würde. Aber mit Reifenverschleiß würde ich es eher nicht machen. Okay, das ist dasselbe Konstrukt wie mein Porsche, sag mal, ein Mittelmotor, aber ich traue ich trau dem nicht. Ich ja, das ist nicht. Die Gewichtsverteilung vom Lamborghini ist noch weiter hinten. Also der Porsche ist irgendwie bei 45, 55. Und der, äh, ja, der Lamborghini ist bei 42, 58, sowas. Mhm. Also weiter hinten geht nicht. Und äh, das wären dann nur noch der Ferrari und der Audi, die da ähnlich weit hinten sind. Von der Gewichtsverteilung her. Auch zwei Autos, die ich meide, versuche zu meiden, nicht benutze, wenn es nicht sein muss. Also ich bin da sehr festgefahren. Ich hatte früher mal zwei Freunde, die sind nur mit dem neuen Elva gefahren, wo ich auf den Autos hin und her gesprungen bin in den Meisterschaften, also im, im Nations Cup und im Manufaktur Cup. Und die sind immer nur Porsche gefahren. Da mich beeindruckt und dann dachte ich mir halt auch, okay, jetzt nimmst du dir das Auto. Dann bin ich extra noch auf dem Pad auf äh, Handschaltung umgestiegen, von Automatik auf Handschaltung. Ich sehe noch ganz genau, als ob es gestern war. Ja, ich, ja, ich kann dir eine Geschichte von meinem Dad erzählen, der, der hat auch auf eine Handschaltung gewechselt und seitdem ist er viel schneller geworden. Ah, Grug sieht man, der hat jetzt noch mehr Schaden bekommen, müsste da vielleicht noch an die Box gehen. Mal schauen, aber er hat da schon sehr viel äh, Abstand jetzt. Also wenn, dann sollte er das jetzt machen, dann sollte er jetzt reinfahren. Ja, Rotec beginnt. Sorry. Jetzt die erste Runde. Ja, genau. Rotec beginnt jetzt seine erste Runde. Ist da eine 8.064 gefahren der ersten Runde. Die zählt natürlich noch nicht als äh, schnellste Runde. Das geht dann erst in der nächsten. In dieser hier. Ich mag das Design hier noch von äh, DLL mit diesen äh, Carbon-Teilen äh, hier. Auf der unteren ja, Seite des Fahrzeugs. Sieht schön aus. Erster Sektor, 21,7. Und die Rechtszeit, die es zu bieten gilt, die ist ähm, eine 8,02. Eine 8,02. Ähm, 1,17. Ist eine Hausnummer. Das ist eine ziemliche Hausnummer, ja. Lackierung vom Zweitplatzierten sieht auch, also es ist eine dunkle Falkenlackierung. Quasi mit anderen Farben, aber der Muster. Muss ich ganz ehrlich sein, es ist zwar äh, das RRC-Team, Nuschel macht die Libraries, also bin ich nicht dazu, äh, äh, darf ich eigentlich kein schlechtes Wort über die Lackierung sagen. Aber ich sag mal so, der der Traubenfarbton, der gefällt mir nicht sonderlich. Da hätte ich äh, lieber ein dunkles Rot genommen. Aber es ist zumindest besser als das Pink, das er äh, nehmen wollte. Ja, gut, Pink ist ja jetzt... Ähm, also darüber lässt sich streiten. Aber man erkennt es kaum, man muss schon zweimal hingucken. Und die vom Dritten, die ist sehr, sehr aufwendig von Eddie. Wenn ich mir vorstellen müsste, ich würde das auf drei verschiedene Autos tun, dann würde ich auch werden. Ja, GCF ist äh, bekannt für seine doch ziemlich komplexen Libraries. Gerade mit dem Muster hier, mit dem äh, Scheibenklirren hier, das sieht schon sehr cool aus. Und das für alle Autos anzuwenden, da muss man schon einen äh, Decal haben, das dazu passt. Da muss man eigentlich ja, schon eines haben, dass da. Äh, zur Auswahl steht. Zumindest teilweise. Die Autos sind doch ziemlich zerklüftet, sage ich mal, dass du schwer platzieren kannst. Was du dir vorstellst. 
Ja, das ist richtig. Es ist nicht einfach die äh, ganzen Decals zu platzieren. Das sieht dann bei jedem Auto anders aus und zerrt ja. sich dann auch anders. Also zwei gleiche Lackierungen zu erstellen, ist fast unmöglich. Ja, das ist richtig. Ich mag aber auch die Lackierung von äh, Sportmat, gerade mit dem äh, Rotton hier. So ein sehr äh, metallischer, knalliger ja. Ton. Finde ich eine sehr da, schöne Farbe. Da muss ich die stehen, das musst du denn auch. Ähm, du lackierst ja, dann hast du, sag ich mal, einen weißen Hintergrund. Dann ist das rot schön. Aber wenn du denn in die Sonne gehst, du kannst ja Sonne einstellen oder bewölkt oder so, Dämmerung, ja. Du hast ja fünf verschiedene Modi, wie du lackieren kannst. Schwarz, weiß, draußen, draußen bewölkt und äh, draußen stark bewölkt. Jo. Und ich habe einen Supra lackiert und der sah in der Sonne, sah der scheiße aus. Da sah das rot scheiße aus, weil ein weiß gut aussah, schön metallisch, sah in der Sonne scheiße aus. Entschuldigen Sie bitte, dass ich das erst Wort gesagt habe im Chat. Korall ist nicht pink. <lacht> nee, pink auf gar keinen Fall. Das ist mir tot zu Es ist mir auch egal, ob das Korall oder äh, Pink oder sonst irgendwie heißt. Okay, ja. Grug hat keine Zeit setzen können, der ist raus aus der Lobby. Ich weiß nicht, ob er aufgegeben oder durch Connection Issues, aber der ist draußen, der wird keine Zeit setzen. Damit werden wir nur 19 Fahrer haben, die da eine Zeit setzen können. Ne, 20. Muss Dann muss er von hinten losfahren. Jo. Wenn sie denn jemanden stellen. Also, Rotec kommt Hälfte. jetzt der. Äh, Road. schon hinter der Hälfte, oder? Ja, also Rotec ist jetzt schon über der Hälfte der Runde. Der ist. Ja. Ähm, ich muss erst noch die Strecke wiederfinden. Der ist jetzt auf dem. Bergauf zur ja. Mutkurve. Der kommt jetzt gleich zu Klostertal. Oder die Mutkurve. Der Abstand zu Mugen ist ungefähr gleich geblieben über die Runde. Hat mal nachgelassen, hat mal zugenommen. Der zweite? Ja, Mugen, der okay. zweite. Hm, okay. Ja, vielleicht, wenn er Glück hat, kann er bis zu der Dinger Höhe noch anfangen oder so. Ja, der McLaren ist aber sehr gut auf der äh, Geraden, ist auch äh, recht gut in der Beschleunigung, ist eines der Autos, vor allem der äh, Mittelmotorautos, die eigentlich sehr gut von der BOP eingestuft sind und auch äh, mithalten können. Das kann nicht jedes solches Fahrzeug sagen. Das kann nicht jedes äh, MR-Fahrzeug von sich behaupten, dass es gut ausbalanciert ist. Ja, seit der letzten BOP, glaube ich, oder seit der vorletzten, seit dem vorletzten Update. Also Uwe fährt ja auch den McLaren und Thorsten fährt ihn jetzt, glaube ich, nächste Saison. Ja, der McLaren ist, glaube ich, sogar noch stärker geworden. Der hat da, glaube ich, mehr Leistung und weniger Gewicht bekommen. Ich weiß nicht ganz genau, aber der hat auf jeden Fall eine... Der war sonst schon, das war sonst schon ein gutes Auto und hat da jetzt noch, äh, noch mal an Stärke gewonnen. Und also, da, frage ich, da frage ich mich halt mal ein paar Mal. Äh, man hat da noch so Lamborghini, man hat Audi, man hat äh, vor allem Ferrari. Der Ferrari ist komplett äh, hinten drin, was die BOP anbelangt, aber man verbessert das Auto nicht. Im Gegenteil, man macht es nur noch schlimmer. Also, irgendeine, ich weiß nicht, welche Agenda da äh, PD führt, aber man sieht da schon ein paar Fahrzeuge, die da deutlich besser wegkommen vom BOP als andere. Okay, äh, F1 Greg ist wieder beigetreten. Mhm. Das nützt aber halt auch nichts. Ja, gut, vorher war der Supra, war der so explizit äh, gut war, so unschlagbar. Ja. Von einer Weile. Ja, ich, weiß auch nicht, ich weiß auch nicht, was die Leute sich dabei denken. Okay, McLaren, Nummer 4. Äh, Freezy meinte, McLaren lässt sich generell in GT7 sehr gut fahren. Fahre den von Anfang an GT7. Ja, der äh, McLaren ist gut zu fahren, finde ich auch. Ähm, aber eben ist auch äh, von der BOP wirklich äh, sehr gut geraten, kann damit halt mit dem besten Fahrzeug. Das ist wirklich ein Go-To-Fahrzeug, gerade für diejenigen, die eher MR-Fahrzeuge bevorzugen, das ist wirklich ein starkes Fahrzeug. 
Wir kommen zur Ziellinie. Die ersten Runden werden wir reden. Komm. Ja, das sind noch 20 Sekunden. Aber Ro Roadtech mhm. ist jetzt im letzten Sektor drin. Und dann können wir mal vergleichen mit der Bestzeit. Das ist eine 802117. Schauen wir mal, wie die äh, Leute hier rankommen. Das war jetzt auch eine gute Runde von Roadtech. Ich denke, da kann da weit nach vorn kommen. P1 eventuell. Ja, das ist eine neue ja. Bestzeit. Mugen N6, aber nur ganz knapp dahinter. Ja. EA Gamer. Noch schneller, 801202, der Lamborghini läuft da wie die Hölle. Dann oh, jetzt knallt's, jetzt knallt's. Jetzt haben wir Enzo Ferrari, 759007. Wir haben die 8 Minuten Schallmauer gekrallt. gekrallt, gekrallt. Eddie scheint da ein bisschen langsam unterwegs zu sein, vielleicht hat die Runde nicht ganz wunschgemäß funktioniert, aber für eine erste Runde ist das sehr solid. Kommt da über die Linie... 8067 Force Rules wird dann ein Stück langsamer sein. Dann äh, Pack CJ, das war keine gute Runde und die nächste wird auch nicht gut sein. Das war ein 833-2. Und er hat Schaden, also wird da keine große Besserung mehr folgen. Chaos Phil. Und Sportmad wird sich da auch nicht groß verbessern. Sportmad fährt übrigens ohne ABS. Das ist mutig. Das ist mutig, ja. Fährt eine 8.30.1. War keine gute Sie? Zeit. Oh, Pock Pavane kommt als nächstes. Pock Tavian, ja. Das wird eine schnelle Runde. Wird nicht Bestzeit, aber es wird eine 8008. Also sehr starke sehr Zeit. Flipsy. Ja, die Runde war nicht ganz in Ordnung, aber immer noch stark. Das ist eine 8045. Man hat immer noch eine weitere ja. Runde zur Verfügung. Dann sieht es ja schon ja nicht mehr so gut aus für uns. Also war sehr stark jetzt. Die Lobby ist sehr stark. Ich, ähm, ich glaube, dann ist jemand am Eingeben. Ich schalte mal kurz auf Pax DJ, dann kann er die Runde nochmal eintragen. Ja. Und dann schaue ich nochmal auf Roadtech, dann lässt sich das auch nochmal eintragen hier. Wenn du irgendwas wissen möchtest, sag Bescheid. Jo. Sorry, wenn ich nochmal äh, umswitche. Ich schaue jetzt nochmal auf Roadtech, dann kann ich seine Zeit nochmal notieren. Weil es war von der Anzeige her nicht richtig. Alright, eingegeben. Roadtech momentan auf Bestzeitkurs. Der McLaren scheint da wirklich sehr gut zu funktionieren. Aber nicht viel, anderthalb Sekunden oder so vielleicht. Ich jetzt nicht genau hinguckt. Plus? Ah, ja. nee. Ein paar Tausendstel Plus. Ja. Aber das ist Plus auf die Bestzeit von Enzo. Ah, okay. Stimmt, du hast recht. Mugen scheint auch ein bisschen auf Verbesserung zu sein, aber der Sektor, wo er gut ist, müsste eigentlich noch kommen, weil der Subaru sehr gut in Kurven. Dann EA Gamer. Auch sehr stark unterwegs, aber viel am Driften, viel am Arbeiten. Für das Qualifying natürlich äh, ein sehr gutes Auto der Lamborghini, aber dann äh, bin ich mal gespannt, wie es dann läuft über den ganzen Stint, weil das Auto schrubbt, schrubbt die Reifen sehr wahrscheinlich in drei Runden durch. Ja, also wir sind auch am überlegen, was der mit Cleverer wäre. In, mit 100 Litern Sprit bei dem Verbrauch. Das sind vielleicht cleverer als einen Stopp mehr zu machen und dafür aber immer proppere Reifen zu haben. Weißt du? Ja, ja kann ich verstehen. Äh, beim Toyota, den wir fahren, das ist äh, zum Glück etwas einfacher. Mhm. 
Das ist, äh, da gehen fünf Runden problemlos. So, Roadtech ist eine Sekunde auf Verbesserung. Der Lambo hat sich gedreht. Oh, der, La der Lamborghini meinst du? Ja, Eddie. Okay, ist wieder grün. Ja, aber ja. der Verbesserung wird das nicht mehr. Nee. Definitiv nicht, <lacht> wenn du dich gedreht hast. Enzo kann sich vielleicht noch weiter verbessern. Die Nordschleife scheint ihm sehr zu liegen. Ja, eine Zehntel hinter seiner Bestzeit, das ist nicht viel. Das ist immer noch sehr gut. Kann also immer noch eine Steigerung sein. Wer ist Enzo, der McLaren, der gelbe Königseck? Yes. Genau. Ah, okay. Ja, er sieht doch sehr stabil aus. Was er hier abliefert. Ja, auch äh, Mugen ist eine Sekunde unter seiner Bestzeit. Das heißt, er könnte da auch eine 8.00 hinbekommen, vielleicht sogar eine unter 8 Minuten. Das hat momentan, glaube ich, nur Enzo geschafft. Wird bestimmt noch interessant. Poctavian, 17. gegenüber seiner Bestzeit voraus. Das ist auch stark, der könnte auch unter 8 Minuten fahren. Vielleicht sogar noch auf Pole. Sportmail ist aber jetzt etwas im Weg. Der muss da aufpassen, dass er da nicht äh, im Weg steht. Ja, aber das ist noch ein Stück, das sind ja locker nach. Ja, aber auch Sportmatch, sehr gut dabei, hat sich 6 Sekunden verbessert. Ja, schauen wir mal auf Roadtech, der ist 1,7 Sekunden äh, schneller als in seiner ersten Runde. Das könnte eine, acht, also das könnte eine Rundenzeit unter 8 Minuten werden. Sau stark, was die da abliefen. Alles unter 8 Minuten ist wirklich sau stark und ich denke nicht, dass ich das hinbekommen würde. Gerade weil ich in Qualifying sowieso scheiße bin. Ich glaube auch nicht, dass ich das hinbekommen würde. Also da bin ich ganz bei dir. Ja, ich also. würde es noch un unter eine 8 Minuten 10 schaffen, aber so jetzt. Ja. Ja. Äh, Roadtech 2 Sekunden auf Bestzeit, äh, also ja. Bestzeitkurs auf äh, persönliche Bestzeit. Enzo, schauen wir bei ihm mal. Ja, äh, drei Zehntel im Rückstand. Ich glaube nicht, dass der sich verbessern kann. Außer nee, er wird nicht. die letzten Kurven noch richtig gut hinbekommen. Gut. Ja, vielleicht, vielleicht findet er irgendeinen so geraden Weg durch die Schikade. <lacht> gut, schauen wir mal auf Rotec. Letzte Kurve. Letzte Schikane hier. Auch schön durchgefahren. Das wird eine Rundenzeit unter 8 Minuten, ziemlich sicher. Das wird eine 7,59,6. Mugen 8 Minuten 0,27. Enzo, der nächste. Kann sich nicht verbessern. Ist der 7,59,4. Ist auch sehr stark. EA Gamer kann sich nicht verbessern. Eddie. Ja, wird um die Pole nicht mitkämpfen können, aber wird um eine sehr gute Platzierung kämpfen können. Auch da, es wird eine Zeit so 8.05, 8.06 herum. Ja, sogar 8.04, 8.04, 4.30. Gute Zeit. Force Rules. Kann es sich da noch verbessern? Ein bisschen. 809810. Dann haben wir Pex, der ist sogar auf Besserung unterwegs. Dann noch Chaosfil, bei dem weiß ich es nicht, sieht aber auch noch eine persönliche Verbesserung aus. Pex. Kommt gleich über die Linie. Und ja, das wird eine Verbesserung. Eine 8.28.6 und eine 8.079. Ja. Für Chaosville. Starke Zeit. Octavian. Oh, 
Kann er sich die Pole Position krallen? Nein, aber er fährt nach 00216. Eine halbe Sekunde besser. Sportmat. Ein bisschen fährt, besser. Jo, fährt nach 26766 und dann flippt sie. 803967. Oh. Also, Wiederholung speichern. Dann kann ich das später anschauen. Dann nochmal das Ergebnis. Roadtech. Soll ich, Sorry. So, soll ich jetzt noch irgendwas speichern für euch? Als Sicherheit oder so? Oder hast du alles? Ja, als Sicherheit kannst du doch noch, noch mal die okay. Wiederholung speichern. Ach, ja. Wir haben Roadtech mit einer 759-654, dann Mugen NS600 mit einer 800027, Enzo auf der Pole Position für FGR mit einer 759-007, dann EA Gamer auch stark runden seit 801202, SLED 804430 auch sehr stark, dann Force Rules 809810 wird da irgendwie gewertet. Ich dachte, es wäre eine 807 gewesen. Ja, vielleicht war es bei Chaosville. Pax DJ mit der 828 äh, 688, dann Chaosville 807989. Poctavian 8 Minuten 216, dann haben wir Sportmat 826 766 und Flipsy mit einer 803967. Gut. Ja, kann ich bestätigen. Ich hoffe mal, das konnte man sich notieren. Sonst äh, würde ich das noch mal zeigen. Gehen sonst noch mal durch. Ähm, Roadtech wurde abgegeben. NSX wurde abgegeben. Ja. Yep. Und so sowieso. Hier gehen wir auch. Die. Rules. Ich glaube, das stimmt tatsächlich alles. Ja, yep, das sollte alles soweit stimmen. Gut, dann gehe ich aus der Lobby, dann können wir in die nächste rein. Okay, dann schmeiße ich die alle raus. Und dann bedanke ich mich für die Einladung. Ich danke ja, dank dir auch fürs Co-Kommentieren. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ja, ciao, äh, Guido. Dann lass es dir gut gehen. Tschüss. So. Ähm. Now we need uh, to see in which lobby goes who. It will take a while, I guess. Um, lobby one, split decider one. Yeah, let's go to Charles' lobby. And then we can go commentate further. Um, why does it take so long to enter the room? It's not normal. Oh, now it has worked. Nice. Okay, I will take a short break and I'll come back. Sind wir live oder? 
Ich habe den Stream noch nicht beendet, ja, wir sind immer noch live. Okay. Ich äh, die Lobby ein. Äh, sieht alles ganz gut aus, dass wir auch schon vollzählig sind, dass wir auch ohne große Pause weitermachen können. Ähm, also werden wir ein bisschen länger brauchen, habe ich das äh, richtig verstanden? Ne, äh, sollten alle da sein, ich muss nur noch umstellen, den Grid, und dann kann es eigentlich äh, zügig losgehen. Äh, weil in Lobby 2 sagt man, äh, es brauche irgendwie ein bisschen Zeit, es brauche äh, da aus irgendwelchen Gründen noch ein paar Minuten. Also ähm, für... Ich weiß nicht, wer hier für FGR, ah, FGR fährt äh, Enzo, der ist in der richtigen Lobby drin. Dann sollten wir Mugen noch haben. Äh, EA Gamer ist auch drin. Nuschel ist auch drin. Dann Paul. Ah, King Rowan, okay. Eddie. Ich glaube, Eddie muss noch, äh, muss noch rein, sehe ich das richtig? Eddie, Eddie ist drin. Eddie ist drin. Nee, der andere Eddie, ich meine der äh, GTF Eddie. Achso, der nee, FL Eddie. Eddie. Ja. Ich bin auch äh, Überblick am... Ähm, ja, alles gut. Äh, GTA ist der äh, Kick Mac, das ist in Ordnung. Äh, ja, sollte ich vielleicht noch im Dokument eintragen. Ne? FGR ist Enzo. So. Ähm, Octavian, Nuschel, Gen, die. nicht Paul, das ist King Rowan der Lobby, dann WSR. Das kann ich nicht beurteilen. Ist in der falschen Lobby, ja. So, waren wir dem Paul. Nicht drin oder nicht breit gedrückt? Äh. Paul? Äh. Nee, anstatt der Paul fährt King Rowan. Okay. Dann, ähm, ja, bei GTA habe ich eingegeben, soll es, also ist schon eingegeben, sollte das Kick Max sein. Kick Max für? GTA. Danke. P7. Killer Affe ist offenbar ähm, auch drin. So. Dann bei FVE weiß ich es nicht. Ist halt blöd, wenn sich die äh, Leute nicht wirklich melden. Ja, warum Q ist jetzt rausgegangen? Wir sind jetzt nur 9 von 12. Nun sind es nur noch neun. Ja. Äh, äh, wo ist denn unser Eddie? SRL Eddie. 
Ja, das frage ich mich auch gerade. Was soll ich reinschreiben? Start 10 nach spätestens? Äh, wir müssen halt ein bisschen warten, bis da die Leute drin sind. Aber ich würde sagen, 15 ist der, ist der wirklich späteste Start. Wenn da nicht alle drin sind, dann ist es ihr Pech. Ähm. Ich glaube, also Kellerraffe fährt doch für ähm, Kellerraffe fährt okay. doch für fährt er nicht für Pegasus? Nicht für Pegasus? Ja, ah, ich dachte. Dann, dann ist er in der falschen Lobby. Der müsste nämlich Achter in der zweiten sein. Ähm, oder PTE. Ja, ich habe da noch irgendwo PTE gesehen, aber... Äh, ja, ich weiß auch nicht, irgendwas ist da komisch. Ah, okay, okay, Moment. Ah, nee, Moment, falsch. Ah, das ist dumm. Also, in unserer Lobby sollten sein äh, Enzo Ferrari, Mugen NSX, äh, EA Gamer, Nuschel, Nuschel, King Rome, ja, äh, Magix, richtig, Kick Mac, ja, ähm, ja, aber Magix oh, sollte eigentlich auf 3 sein. Und Eddie müsste noch in die Lobby kommen. Dann müsste Q noch hier sein. Der ist da. Ähm, SGR, keine Ahnung, wer da fährt. Dann äh, RX1, Sakura ist da. Ähm, und dann Hermann, auch keine Ahnung, wo sind die? Ähm... Picknick, den habe ich falsch, der muss vor Magic. Also vor Souls habe ich noch geschrieben, der ist in der falschen Lobby. Kick Mac muss vor Magix sein. Ich habe das nochmal aktualisiert. Okay. Äh, den Killer Affe kann ich noch nicht zuordnen. Äh, Killer Affe sollte okay. ein. PTE sollte er ja eigentlich sein, aber... Ja, und dann müsste er in äh, die zweite auf P5. Ja, vielleicht habe ich es auch falsch sortiert. Ich weiß es nicht. Vielleicht äh, von der Registration her. PTE. Doch, der ist für PTE am Start. Und bei FOA haben wir äh, Ray Ray, Jacobo oder Grack. Irgendjemand von denen müsste da rein. Um. Ja, und hier fehlt äh, Eddie. SAL, unser Eddie. Ja, müssen wir vielleicht noch anschreiben.
Äh, Force Rose ist noch nicht raus, ne? Ah, jetzt. Ja. Force Rose ist raus, dann haben wir äh, PTE. Und SGR1. Müsste Sportmat sein. Oder sonst irgendjemand von denen. Okay, Pillar hat jetzt auch verlassen. Ja, dann sind das äh, HM1, SGR1 und GTF. Die drei. Also, Eddie ist informiert, der kommt gleich. Ähm, wen haben wir noch? Der da fehlt. SGR und äh, Hermann Motorsport. Beide sind äh, nicht eingetragen, wer fahren soll. Ja, äh, wenn sie das nicht äh, schaffen, dann sind sie selber schuld. Dann Sehe ich genauso. Wir machen eh schon alles, was wir können, damit da alle irgendwie äh, reinkommen. Aber ich glaube, Hermann hat sowieso gesagt, dass sie vielleicht den ganzen Quali nicht teilnehmen können. Von daher äh, wäre es dann so. Ich einfach noch schauen bei ah, SGR Spider GT, genau. Ähm. Okay, Eddie auf P6. Ja, ja, genau, müsste eigentlich vor Kick Max sein. Ja, dann äh, Magic. Äh, Eddie ist drin, also okay. der hat schon ready gedrückt. Ja, ja, ein bisschen Zeit verzögert. Ja, ja und äh, dann äh, stimmt's, plus die zwei, die noch fehlen. Ja, Kyle hat, äh, also SGL hat gesagt, er kommt gleich. Also Kyle, Kyle D116. Für äh, SGR sagtest du? Ja. Okay, eine Minute warte ich noch. Es ist halt. Es ist echt manchmal <lacht> einfach. He's adding right now, also du müsstest jetzt eine Freundschaftsanfrage erhalten haben. Ah, nicht optimal! Äh, kannst du auf YouTube schauen, ob da ähm, bei Sampa schon gestartet wurde oder ob da am noch am warten ist. Bin dran. Ne, die äh, haben noch freist. Die sind auch noch am warten. Ja. Ja, jetzt kommt die scheiß Anfrage erst. Diese Leute, ey. <lacht> Ablehnen. Ups. Nein, natürlich nicht. Ähm. Also du bist noch bei YouTube drauf. Äh, ja. Jetzt wieder, ja. Okay, wie viele Leute sind da drin? Zehn. Da fehlt auch noch einer. Hm. Wer fehlt da? Okay. Ähm, also Rotex sollte auf 1 sein, dann Poctavian 2, Dennis 3, Flipsy 4. Ja, die sind im freien Training, das kann ich jetzt nicht einsehen. Aha, okay. 
Nee, ich sehe auch nur acht Namen. Ich kann es dir nicht sagen. Hm. Ja, ich habe Sampa eigentlich gesagt, das sollen wir äh, schreiben, wenn da alle Leute drin sind. Hm. Ja, ich frag mal nach. Be funny with um, well, this is the left hander here. This corner can be a bit tricky if you have worn tires, so you really have to just try to carry as much speed as possible. But if you get it slightly wrong, you go wide, and then then there's a good chance you crash. So nicely done there by Plexus. Uh, jetzt kommt noch äh, Jungs, Jungs, Jungs. Das geht doch nicht. Ah, gut, wir warten. Ich würde mal sagen, 20 ist der spitze Zeitpunkt, sonst äh, gehen wir. Wenn ich sehe, da steht die 20, drücke ich auf äh, starten. Ja. Egal, wer jetzt noch kommt oder nicht. Ja. Sorry, da habe ich jetzt kein Verständnis mehr für. Okay, ich habe Ihnen jetzt auch gesagt, 20 Start, wenn Sie nicht scheuen, Pech gehabt. So um, we should start the race in two minutes, regardless. So. Alright. Well, the grid's all set, apart from the one driver who isn't. Oh, yeah. sport mad, come this noch rein. Twenty past when we start. So um, yeah, get ready, everyone. It's gonna be a wild ride on a very tough. Der müsste dann SGR sein vor Sakura, uh, Sakura und hinter Q. Ja. Um. Wenn er nicht bereit drückt, ist das jetzt sein Problem. So. Ähm. Geht doch. Gut, also dann noch sortieren, dann geht's los. Oder Kuro, ja, so, stimmt. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll try to switch to English now. We have uh, talked in German for long enough. We have FGR and so Ferrari in pole position with a staggering lap of 759. In front of Mugen NSX, then EA Gamer, Nuschel, King Rowan with a very strong performance of Paul Deprenter, then we have SIL Eddy, Cake Mac, Mac X, Q, Sportmat and Sakura, also known as Marco. And we're off now. Okay, yeah, a short introduction. We drive 40 minutes in two stints and that will determine who is going to be in which lobby or most say in which race weekend. I think everyone got through turn one and two cleanly, no change of positions so far. Ku is struggling, uh, lost one position. Oh, Sportmat. Uh, but past them. Wait, Sportmat is on intermediate tires. Well, someone uh, practiced obviously a lot for this event. Yeah, that's, that's a huge dis disadvantage. But uh, there's one mandatory pit stop where you can change the tires to softs or mediums or hard if, if you like. Uh, so that is some uh, form of uh, damage limitation, but yeah, uh, really unnecessary that he uh, chose this tire. Anyway, uh, Enzo Ferrari leading the race. 
ad of uh, Mugen and EA Gamer also within a second. Everything really close at the end of this, assumably a uh, five lap sprint. Notion lost the position to King Rowan. The Dutch drivers from Wembley Motorsport are really shining on this track. All of them at the moment. Paul with a very strong lap time in qualifying and now uh, King Rowan gets past Nuschel who considers himself an expert on this track. Yeah, uh, Nuschel under pressure, uh, got wide on the entry on the north flight. Eddie had a look but could make the move stick. And uh, now entering the north flight, I'm curious to see how aggressive driver uh, will be. Uh, after all, it's the, uh, the total race time that is important here, not the position itself. So uh, I think you want to be a bit more cautious here on the north flight and focus your attack on the back straight uh, or on the GP layout uh, to minimize time loss. Yeah, and so now a second lead to Mugen. And EA Gamer is following closely. Then we have a gap to King Rowan and Nushil is under pressure from Eddie right now. Not a strong start for the Supra, for the old one. Now luckily Nushil has enough top speed to, to save him. Sweden Kreuz and now to Arenberg. It's yeah. quite downhill, it doesn't look quite uh, like it. Uh, it's a bit under steering, everything, uh, everyone is close together now again. Downhill section down to the Fuchsröhre, uh, really high speeds down, then up to compression. And now, of course, is, is a, a difficult corner with a very late apex. If a mistake happens, one uh, can make an overtake maneuver here, where it seems everyone goes through nicely. Yeah, we also need to mention that the Supra is uh, quite a bit. Uh, slow at the beginning because uh, it needs uh, some corners, it needs uh, a bit of time to warm up the tires to a good temperature. It seems the others don't have that problem or have that much in a, in a much less extreme form. Yeah, that's, that's a call that can uh, and make, can someone make, uh, do you want to change the tires or not? Um, I think it's better to save the tires, but um, one could risk uh, going uh, to stop without changing the tires to get track position. Wouldn't cost them much. Yeah, it also depends a bit on uh, how tire wear is on uh, the driver and the car itself. Uh, Enzo goes wide here, uh, has trouble to save the car and Mugen goes past now. So we have a RRC lead here in the uh, in the lobby in lobby one. Might not necessarily mean that he's in the lead uh, in total, but that's a good sign here for him, for Mugen. And so still in P2 though, needs a bit of time to clean his tires now. But with this long straight, it should be no problem. EA gamer in P3, then we have King Rowan in a P4. Nuschel. Seems to be much faster on the straights though. He can catch the Porsche in big steps. And in the background we see Kickmack and Sakura fighting against each other. Sakura now got past the Kickmack. In the beautiful sounding uh, RX Vision. And so with another mistake, lost ground. It's now three seconds to Mew and Ear Gamer. Really on the tail, they're heading into Carousel. This is really one line. You need to be on the banking. So Enzo can successfully defend the position. But it's under a lot of pressure from Ear Gamer. Also King Rowan closed the gap. Uh, I think that you'd be about three seconds as well. Now he's within a second. Whatever the Dutch drivers here have uh, eaten, but uh, they're showing their by far best performance ever. Now Mark X has uh, won the place against Eddie. It seems he made a little bit of a mistake. Sakura is three seconds behind Eddie. 
and considering that Arik started in last position, they have a bit of a recovery job to do. Now let's look a bit at uh, fuel consumption. We have a uh, Mugen as normal consumption. Enzo looks pretty good. EA Gamer looks pretty good. King Roan has uh, used a bit more. Nushal is also good. We can also see uh, some tactical maneuvers with pit stops and uh, such things. Because you don't want to be uh, behind these drivers and uh, lose time. Yeah, I assume most stops uh, will happen at the end of lap 2 or lap 3 uh, to preserve uh, the tires or have the best, uh, best time uh, with the tires. Yeah, yeah a fall off a bit uh, with four and especially five laps. And now I'm really curious what's going to happen on the back straight. King Roman lead, group of three cars, neutral and also Magic and Eddie uh, behind, all in distance to make up positions here. Worst case it could be that uh, the King Roman loses up to three positions here. Yeah, the Porsche shouldn't be that strong on the straight. So, uh, yeah, Nuschel already overtaking uh, Mark X. Oh, that was a block. That was really borderline. I think Magic lost some uh, momentum. Eddie not able to close the gap in the slipstream. And now Nuschel is giving the slipstream under pressure. Magic on the outside. Doesn't get uh... much room from Rowan there. Keep it on the track, guys. This is important. So, Nuschel now, what does he do? He goes into the pits. The rest yeah. continues on. I think it was a it was a good call from Nuschel to pit now. He's still on 80 liters, the tires are good. I don't think you need to change tires and I also don't think he needs to refuel, but we'll see. This is the mandatory pit stop. I think uh, that got uh, too dangerous, so not really getting some free air um, is, is benefiting his race. Ku is also in the pit lane after uh, having damage, quite hefty damage somewhere. And uh, Sportmed uh, has to pit with damage as well and get to, to slick tires. Yes. Hopefully he, he also has damage, so uh, I hope he changes the tires because uh, on intermediate, it's not a fun time on this track, in the in the dry. Yeah, already a minute after one lap. Yeah, he goes into the pits. I hope he changes tires. I don't think that the call on intermediate was uh, voluntary. I don't think it was. And if it was, then it was a pretty stupid decision. <laughs> Now, when we're looking at the lead, we have uh, Mugen with a three-second gap to Enzo and another three-second gap to EA Gamer. Uh, when we're looking at his rear tires, then they don't look really good. I think yeah. he needs to change tires uh, during the race. And again, don't forget Magic. we... Ma sorry, Magic's uh, got by. And King Rowan is now in fifth position on the back straight on the GP layout. Uh, took the slipstream and went by before the chicane and King Rowan didn't fall that too hard. So there's a, a change uh, in position. Eddie couldn't uh, make up any positions here, still in peace. Today. We have yellow flags here because oh. Enzo! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, that was... That was exactly what can happen here. One mistake and this is quite at the beginning of the lap, so uh, Enzo now in real trouble. And yeah, uh, Magic, also with damage, couldn't avoid that. Yeah. And yeah, that's the part of the game now. They have now damage and... Unfortunately... They have to carry it for six minutes. Notable 14 seconds behind Enzo, um, most likely 
Before I answer, will uh, enter the pit lane. Neutral uh, has overtaken him on track. I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah. Now look at the gap that he's closing. He has already closed uh, one and a half seconds since I uh, switched to him. He's not as fast in the corners as Enzo, but the straight line speed advantage. And also that he has a clean room in front of him, clean track, is beneficial as well. Yep. Uh, Kickmag is going to overtake Magics. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Matrix, of course, with the damage that wasn't part of the plan. Luckily, there's a mandatory pit stop and he hasn't uh, pitted yet, so... There's still nothing lost here. Okay. And luckily, also Mist no engine damage. Mist? And now the very tight left-hander. That's... Uh, there's Alfen. Uh, never end game writing, honestly game being really stupid sometimes with not saving tire settings from one race to the next. Uh, does Marco have damage? No, Slim uses, he does not have damage. But now we have a three-way fight with King Rowan, Sal Addy and uh, Sakura. And yeah, King Rowan does a really good job here, still in P3. Uh, and it's very difficult to overtake in this section, although it's, it is a long straight. Or, it is not a straight, it is a full uh, throttle section. Yeah. But overtaking... Eddie, Eddie is lifting, is deciding to stay behind, that's uh, I think a clever decision. Yeah, and Sakura needs to be patient as well. Goes a bit on the grass, looks for an overtake, but can't find the room. The gap to uh, Nuschel from Enzo is now six and a half seconds. He's closing in very fast, and uh, do not forget that Nuschel safe. Uh, that Nuschel did change tires. And it also refuel a little bit. So, uh, oh, another drift by Enzo. Hopefully, uh, Nuschel is not affected by this. No, but you can see him now. And I hope Enzo is fair enough to, to leave Nuschel enough room to go by. Yeah, let's see if he does that or if he continues on. Must Oh, he must be frustrated right now. So many little incidents, but they all sum up at the end. Why is Lobby 1 a time race and Lobby 2 is a lap race? Uh, you said 5 laps, did you? No, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, that says uh, in the rule book. Anyway, we have to roll it. Now. It should be five laps, eh? Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully, this uh, won't screw us in the end. Should be fine. Neutral now uh, past answer. Yes, Enzo needs to pit in this lap because of the damage, maybe also change tires. Who knows? But uh, I don't think that it, it was the lobby or it was the race that he imagined. It's just, it seems to be just too aggressive, just a tiny bit too aggressive. Mugen with a 10 second gap now to uh, EA, ga oh, oh, EA Gamer and look at his tires. They are already half through on the rear. I, I think uh, switch to medium would actually be better. 
Yeah, I think he can go to the distance, but with this tire wear, Sakura now in P3, Eddie is in P4, and King Roan has now lost a few places. Sakura also in the pits. Eddie Rome continues. Continue. King Roan continues. Um, Magic's going through the pits. But the reference now is Nushal. Let's see where he comes out. Where the others come out. And if he wins some places. Sakura has left the pits. So that position is won already. Yep, um, 11 behind uh, Mugen, so he should be really close to EA Gamer uh, once EA Gamer uh, has done his pit stop. Yeah, I just wonder a bit why they are changing tires all. Yeah, Enzo now uh, repairing the damage. That's another six seconds he needs to wait. Who is in the pits because of damage? And Sportmat is now on the correct tires. He's now on race softs. Finally. I'm curious to see what uh, the gap between EA Gamer and Eddie is going to be at the end of the lap. Uh, Eddie's uh, tires are in really good shape, but EA Gamer's tires are really worn, especially on the rear. So, uh, Eddie. Has, has the entire advantage here and should uh, close down by two seconds. Yeah, that's just a Lamborghini that is really tire hungry. You can't really do much about it. But that's what I uh, already said a few days ago when they have chosen the Lamborghini. I told them uh, this car is not good to the tires. I wouldn't uh, really take it. But it seems they are happy with it, so all good. Yeah, they're definitely uh, quick with that. And probably leading the race at least. Uh, Jürgen, who lost the lead from pitting, is in P5, has Big Mac in front. And uh, I, I, would, uh, I think he would like to find a way past him really quickly. Yeah, you can also see that Eddie is uh, making up the cap again. Uh, he's uh, gaining time on EA Gamer. King Round still pretty solid, still pretty good. Kick Mac, very solid as well. And then we have Mugen, who's going to go for an overtake quite soon. He has already pitted. And Kick Mac lets him through. Very fair of him. Nushil and uh, Sakura are three and a half seconds apart. Then we have Magic, 16 seconds behind uh, Sakura. And another 22 seconds behind is Enzo Ferrari in the McLaren. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Enzo Ferrari would have been happy that someone uh, called like him is driving a non-Ferrari car. Yeah, I thought the similar thing. Uh, at first glance, I even thought, yeah, that's, that's a Ferrari. Oh, no, wait, that's in the cloud. I thought, uh, yeah, w what you said, um, with, with that name, driving a different brand, that, that, that's a bit of a crime. Yeah, definitely turning in his grave.
FGR really fast on this circuit, but they unfortunately lost it in the... Yeah, they, yeah, they're not out of it. They're not out of it yet. They can still uh, recover. But that mistake yep. here, that was that could have been cost. That could be costly in the end. I hope for them that it's not the case. With good pace, and um, some people still have to make a pit stop. Uh, and mistakes can happen from others too. Uh, yep. The important thing is to keep focused now and uh, finishing uh, this, this two and a half laps we still have to go. Yeah. Uh, EA Gamer only has a three second gap now to Eddie, so Eddie is approaching fast. But also his tire wear doesn't look too good here. Tire wear already 50% used. At least the front tires are 50% used. Now many flowing corners, quick corners. Uh, he should make up quite uh, some ground here and ideally he gets uh, within one and a half seconds or even uh, less to get the slipstream on the back straight. Yeah. The Lambo now with this tire wear gets really slippery and gets really hard to control. Much oversteer, but at the moment it seems that EA Gamer comes to terms with it. But six and a half seconds slower. Yeah, that's, that's really not a car for a long run. Yeah, I can see it. The driving is really good, but the car uh, doesn't have the grip simply. Yeah. Uh, King Roan is uh, now only a few tenths in front of Mugen. And... Uh, the Subaru is a strange car to drive because it has good top speed, it has very good handling, but acceleration is uh, pretty horrid, especially out of slow corners. Um, you can have a look, but I think he is just waiting for the for the uh, for the, for the long back spray. Uh, that's an easy path there uh, and he doesn't have to risk anything here and yeah, uh, Rowan has to pit, he, he knows that and uh, I would think that there's no fight here between those two. Yeah. Now Mugen goes past. It takes a while until the Subaru really gains the speed. For some reason it really uh, Accelerates further and further once it has reached uh, a certain speed, but before that, it's quite slow in acceleration. King uh, Ron is a uh, bump drafting. Yeah, doesn't want to lose time. That's a clever thing to do. Yeah, but King Ron also needs to pit. Now EA Gamer and Eddie both uh, do pit, and Ku has left the lobby. That's unfortunate. Oh boy. I do hope uh, he has everything saved uh, for the gap. Big Mac in second position, then we have Nutshell now in third position. Yeah, but Kick Mac needs Sakura. to pit. Yes, yes. Uh, Sakura holds. Uh, or held uh, the three second gap to neutral, pretty much the same lap time. And uh, King Rowan seems to be very uh, conservative with fuel. He refueled 76 liters. That's uh, way enough. Eddie yeah, has taken new safe. tires. <laughs> Eddie has taken new tires. And a bit of fuel. And is now uh, four seconds behind Sakura. Yeah, yeah, Gamer lost the position uh, due to refueling. I think everyone has pitted now except P2 Kickman. 
Yes, I think Kick Mac is the only one that hasn't pitted yet, but he needs to do that as well. If not, we will probably just uh, add one minute to his time. So yeah, um, Kick Mac, if you're looking at the stream and if you're hearing us, you need to pit in this lap. Important. But yeah, uh, luckily it seems that the grid is close together and that we want it 40 minutes after lap 4. Sakura is uh, on really good pace now. And I need to thank uh, him for helping me out in the Road Atlanta race because I was uh, driving alone otherwise. And luckily Marco helped out. Quite happy with it. So we took P2 in the class. That is quite an achievement. Well done. Uh, he's also closing in on Russia, uh, almost in slipstream range. With better tires, I think he has the upper hand. If he can stay with him, doesn't do any mistake, uh, then he sh should be able to overtake uh, on some of the uh, long straights here and drive away in the, the fifth lap. Yeah, and Sakura is also uh, someone that can look after his tires pretty well, so I don't really think that. He will have he will get problems. Obviously also his tires are a lap younger than Nushel's. And I also think that Nushel won't risk everything. He just wants to secure a, a drive in lobby one. Yeah. Uh, that's looking very promising. Obviously we don't know what the other lobby is doing right now. But uh, no big time loss like Sakura did. Almost. Or is it? Oh. He's disconnected from me. Uh, no, I think Sakura still continues, but uh, he's uh, lagging very heavily. Yeah, I thought for a moment he was off, and then it looked like a disconnect. Yeah, really now hard it, to now. It looks a bit better now. Yeah, I don't think uh, Kick Mac will continue for much longer. Uh, his tires also don't look that great. I don't think yeah. he will do another lap. If I uh, guess that correctly, its fuel looks uh, really low as well. I think five or ten liters uh, of refueling would be good good idea as well. Yes. Eddie, four and a half seconds behind Sakura, then we have EA Gamer, who is three and a half seconds behind Eddie. Ten seconds behind is uh, Magix. And King Rowan is ten seconds behind Magix. Then we have Enzo. Really pushing the car now, but eight seconds, uh, eight, seven and a half seconds behind King Rowan. And then we have Sportmat in P10 who is two minutes behind yeah, and so one position maybe even two positions are still possible for him then we have to look where uh, Kick Mac uh, rejoins the group after his pit stop indeed yeah because Kick Mac will need to change his tires because they don't look great Formula Pro Racing Series says uh, we got out of place on the interest while we selected softs. Oh no, that's uh, that's unfortunate. We just had no luck from the start. Yikes! Yeah, of course. In the end, this ad this adds all up, and luckily the performance of. Um, the performance of Sportmat has been quite good, despite that. 
He has driven 8.25 now. Yeah, and uh, we also have the second uh, part of this uh, big, uh, big qualifying part uh, where you can uh, work on that and improve your, uh, your position. And mm -hmm. even if that wouldn't happen, uh, then you can still participate in race just one week later in the second lobby. So uh, that's, that's not a big bummer, I guess. You're right. Yes. They still have the chance to compete, so that's cool. Okay, let's look at Kickmack again because we need to pit in this lap. The split decider race just uh, divides the lobby the lobbies in two, and the faster drivers will drive in lobby one, and the other teams will then drive in lobby two. Um, how we will place the drivers is uh, still. How we place the teams will be still... Uh... Oh, okay, Sakura has now uh, gone past uh, Nuschel. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't caught that, but uh, I think Nuschel didn't fought that too hard. Um, higher life is quite important here. And Nuschel uh, will inherit that third position really quickly after Kickmack went, in, went into the pit lane. He needs to do that in this lap. Yep. Yes, he's on the right. And now everyone has pitted and everyone has fulfilled the rules. Yegema has closed in on uh, Magix. Maybe we see an attack for turn one. The Lamborghini should be quite strong on the straights. So maybe we can see a, an overtake and EA Gamer also has a lot of confidence in the car. So, But the Corvette seems to be stronger on the straights. So Kickback rejoins in P7. Uh, comfortable uh, lead ahead of King Roan. And one second behind King Roan is all, already at the Ferrari. Yeah, for some reason uh, King Roan has uh, declined a bit in performance. Of course he had his pit stop. Yeah, but something uh, must have happened because the lap times got worse and worse each lap. Yeah, you. It's a. Uh, he pitted in lap three, so. I, uh, sorry, yeah, you're right. That's why the two lap times in laps three and four were a bit slower. But from a very strong beginning, it's now uh, declining a little bit. It's still a very strong performance from the from the Dutch driver King Road. Now with a penalty, half a second. Probably uh, went a bit too much on the inside of the Schumacheres. And then you can collect this penalty. And so now looking for an overtake. The McLaren should be very strong on the straights, at least against the Porsche. King Road defends his line, but breaks a bit earlier and Enzo is past him now. No, a little touch, but both can save it. So, oh, nine seconds uh, down the road is Kickmack uh, on the red rubber. That will be quite difficult. I think now Enzo and then Enzo's goal should be just to to finish this lap cleanly, no mistake, and the best uh, lap time possible to give the car uh, with, the, with the best possible time to his teammate. Uh, JPE 1306 wrote that the P10 is less than optimal, but the 24 hours is what matters. Yeah, again, P10 uh, sounds a bit dire at the moment, but 
we can work on that in the second stint. And yeah, as you said, the, the big goal is the 24-hour race. And uh, in the 24 hours, the starting position uh, doesn't really matter much, to be honest. Yeah, you can uh, work yourself up. Uh, you have plenty of time, and uh, participating is, I think, uh, the biggest deal here. Now let's Nussbaum look at the. Doing great. Oh, sorry. I want to say that Nusko is doing great. Barely lost time in this uh, fifth lap despite having worse tires than uh, Sakura. Yeah, that's. Uh, but he bought this uh, position to to um, an early pit stop in lap one, so it's still a win in in my books. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Also, uh, I'm not sure about the position, but he was uh, somewhere in the midfield, and uh, with that pit stop, he avoided all the traffic. Uh, they good lap time, so that was a good idea from Nato. Yeah, uh, but I want to say Muken is now more or less 15 seconds in front of Sakura. Muken uh, is a driver that uh, drives very rarely in RRC, but uh, top racer knows him. And uh, he has been pretty fast in the past, uh, has taken part in some uh, two-hour Le Mans races. I think he took part in the um, 2011 race where he won in his class. And he also performed well on other occasions. It's his first, hour, uh, it's his first ES uh, stint here and has been recruited by Paul. We know he's fast, and Paul is fast as well. Then Sakura, of course, um, always a bank for Arix. Strong driver. Then Nuschel, always with solid com performances. Rarely makes mistakes. Eddie, also one of the best drivers of DES. Also very solid and fast. Then EA Gamer would be a very fast driver, but uh, I think this time he's uh, a bit, yeah, uh, because of the car, he's uh, a bit limited, I would say. Yes, limited. That's the word. Thank you. Then Magix uh, front tire wear to death, but. I don't think he changed tires. I think he uh, went into the pit and just repaired damage. And that was his obligatory pit stop done. Considering the damage he had at the beginning, that's a strong recovery drive. Kickmack, solid performance for, for GTA. Really hoping that they uh, join us in uh, lobby one, but we will see if they earn it. Then FGR with Enzo Ferrari. Would have been on pole position. But unluckily they had a mistake in the race. Then uh, King Rowan seems to have had a little mistake. He has damage on the front right. Shouldn't be too, uh, too heavy. If you're a control driver, you might need, you might see a difference with a wheel. You don't really have uh, that much of a disadvantage. And then we have Sport Matt. He's driving his pace, but it seems he drives solid. Yeah, now Mugen will uh, finish the lap quite soon. Great ride from him, uh, no mistakes, quick lap time. Well done to him and his team. Yeah, very patient and uh, solid drive. Ooh, little slide, but this could be, could, could have been lag. And he finishes with 40 minutes, 53 seconds on the clock, with a personal best lap, which is the best lap of the race so far. Then Sakura, 
16 seconds behind. Lucille will rescue P3. I think Eddie had to save some fuel. Was below two seconds, really close. Great drive from both drivers, definitely. Yeah. Now EA Gamer in the Lamborghini, the tire hungry car. Goes over the line with an 804938. Then Matrix. Very solid. Kick Mac P7. Enzo Ferrari P8 with the fastest lap of 8 minutes 1272. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's only two That's and a half lot. seconds slower than in qualifying. Yeah. Less than two Run. and a half. P9 with a gap of 1 minute 9. And then we have a bit uh, until a uh, sport map crosses the line. Yeah. He goes onto the gravel, but he will still finish in time. Yeah, then we have a short break after that uh, until uh, the second lobby is started. Then we do it all again and then we have our grids for the 24 hour race. Yeah. Ideally, the lobby should have already started, but uh, unfortunately, due to um, due to us waiting for drivers and being late in general, we are late for the last lobby as well. And then both uh, Charles and me need to uh, switch. our seats and drive the second stint of the stint decider so yeah what I will do now is uh, what we should do now is enter the gaps yeah that's sort of like we did that uh, before it went quite smoothly and yeah we shall work with the gap and luckily we have the result here. I can uh, go through everything. Give you the, the racing time. Mugen finished the race uh, at first with a total racing time of 40 minutes. 52 seconds point eight five nine. Yeah. Then uh, Sakura in P2 with a gap of 15.869 in P3 Knuckle with 20 seconds, 0.146. I repeat, yeah. Knuckle. Uh, yeah, seconds. we have okay. had, it has been entered. Then SIL Eddy with 22 seconds, 0.555. 555, yes. EA Gamer. 36.674 in P7 we have Magics with a gap of 42.579 in P7 we have Kickmac Kickmac has a gap of 46.521 uh, wait I need to enter it myself it seems um, can you repeat P5 again yeah, P5 is EA Gamer yeah. with a gap of 36.674. Yes. Then P6, Magix. Yes. With a gap of 42.579. Okay. Yeah, now Nussel is entering the gaps again. Uh, Kick Mac. 46.5. 521 as Kickmack. Yeah. Then Enzo Ferrari. Enzo, 47.669. Yes. P9 is King Roan. Mm -hmm. 1 minute 9 seconds. Point yeah. zero four zero. 
Um, King Rowan is he already entering it? Well, yeah, and Sport P10 uh, Sportman two minutes 31 seconds point zero five seven. Is he from SGR? Do we? Oh, yeah, he's from SGR, I guess. Yeah. And uh, Zero Kohaku has a, had a disconnect, I think, in lap three. Mm. Okay, so um, I should photo that again. All right, so. <clears throat> Then I will finish the stream now, then we can both go to our lobbies. And yeah, we see you we see you next week. See you then. Good job. Thanks, Bounty. Yeah, thanks Charles too. Goodbye.